the book of Romans in the Bible, chapter 8 and verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Shalom, Yasharala, peace, Israel. First and foremost, all praise, glory, and honor to our power. Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone, who still rule well. Peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. Shalom. The real Israelites are so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, people of Negroid and American Indian descent make up the 12 tribes of Israel. As well as Israelites that live in various locations that may even look like the other nations because we've been scattered throughout all the earth. But you had the spirits of Israelites. If you are able to receive this truth, you are an Israelite also, no matter what you look like. Today, I have a special topic that I'm going to deal with. West African languages are ancient Hebrew. West African languages are ancient Hebrew. And that's a fact. And this is more proof and evidence that we are who we say we are. This is proof that before Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, with Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, our so-called Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians, this is proof that before Judah, Benjamin, and Levi came over here to the Americas, they spoke ancient Hebrew in West Africa. It's only when we touch down in the Americas, when we land ashore, Esau beat our language and our nationality, our identity out of us. He stripped us of our heritage. But this is more proof that we are the Israelites. So read this again in Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Read this again. The spirit itself. What is the spirit itself? The Holy Spirit. The scriptures. Yahweh Shah said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the word, the Bible itself bears witness, beareth witness or, or testifies with our spirit that's within us. So this Bible parallels with our spirits. It's in line with our spirits. It coincides with our spirits. It synchronizes with our spirits. Okay? The Bible measures up to us. You see, this is a spiritual DNA test for the children of Israel. The spirit itself, which is the Bible, bears witness, beareth witness with our spirit that's within us that we are the children of the Most High, that we are the Israelites, according to the Bible. Now, let's get into it, man, because we have to start off with the scriptures. Now, what you see before you is the Yoruba language, in particular, the Yoruba alphabet. And it's in cursive, okay? It's in cursive. But this is Hebrew. And you're going to see, this is indeed Hebrew. No way around it. And this is the actual ancient Hebrew alphabets. OK, this was called the proto sinaitic alphabet. And this is the paleo Hebrew alphabet. OK, but they're both Hebrew, ancient Hebrew. And here you have the ancient Hebrew at the top, the paleo. And here you have 
the Assyrian Hebrew. Okay? But dealing with the Yoruba alphabet and the word Yoruba itself is a Hebrew word. As I mentioned before in another video, Yoruba goes back to the Hebrew word Yarayaba. Strong's H3401 Yarayaba and Yarayaba means opponent or adversary. But remember, the word Yoruba means deceitful or deceit to trick someone. Okay? And if you would deceive someone or you're their opponent or adversary, you know, they're against you basically. They, they will be your opponent if you would deceive them. So you see how it lines up. And basically, Yoruba, this is like another way of saying Jacob. All right? Our forefather Jacob. Jacob in the Hebrew is Yaquab, which means supplanter. Yoruba means deceitful. If you deceive someone, you, you uh, supplant them. Okay? This is beautiful, man. Now... You read this alphabet, you read the words and the letters from right to left, like the ancient Hebrew. You read it from right to left, and that's a, a, a righteous vibration, okay? Most languages in the Eastern Hemisphere are read from right to left, okay? But let's deal with these alphabets, man. Let's deal with these characters. Now, I'm going to read this because, you know, this was on, uh, you know, different pages, different sources. But it's basically the same thing. Pretty much the same source, all right, but just different websites. Okay, this was put up on Facebook. All right, but the information itself is accurate. Now, it says Yoruba Afro script handwriting. When we write Yoruba using the Yoruba African alphabet, we write from right to left. We write the vowel signs above the consonant letters. Some letters do not join to the left. And it's written in cursive. Okay? This is beautiful, man. But we're going to deal with this. And Lord willing, you're edified, okay? As I said before, if you're not edified, that means I'm not doing my job. All right, now, we're going to deal with these characters, okay? For example, let me show it over here. You have this character, Alephi, Alephi, which... That goes back to the Hebrew character Ah, which goes into Alap, which means an ox head. Alap. Now it says Alephi, really it's Alap. Which, you know, you see different uh, letters, like you see E's and V's and stuff like that. You know, that, that uh, isn't fully accurate because. We really speak the ancient Hebrew, all right? So when you look it up online, they're basically going to give you the Yiddish, okay? But our language, we don't have E's, we don't have V's. What else you see on here, man? Okay, but you get the point. You don't have all that. You don't have these other uh, letters that Esau adds, okay? But Alephi goes back to Alap. Which means ox. Okay? Now you have the character B.I. B.I. That goes back to Bayat. You see that? Bayat. Which means house. It can mean tent or house. Alright? Plain, man. Now you have the character 
Ga. It goes to the word Gamal. Now they have a uh, Gamel, but look at the resemblance. Gamel, and there it says Gamil. Gamil is kind of blurry, but you see it. It says Gamil, which really is Gamal, and it goes back to Camel. Now it can go into your uh, your foot or to gather or walk, but really it goes back to a camel, Gamal. You see that? Gamel, Gamil, which really is Gamal. Okay. Let's see, man. It's so many resemblances, you know. Let's see. All right, we have this character here. For uh, for uh, H, they have the word Hiyai. Hiyai. Look at that. They have Hey, which really is Haa. Haa, which means to look or behold. You know, and that's the proto. Sinaitic Hebrew character for it. It's a man with his hands up, you know, with his arms raised up. And it's like, look, even people today, when, when they say, hey, they'll say, hey, or some, some people say, hey, it's like, look or behold. But it goes back to the Hebrew character, ha or ha, -ah, which means to look or, or behold. You see? But look at that, man. I mean, come on. Yoruba is Hebrew. He I uh hey or hi which really is ha ah which means to look or behold. Now you have well let me not get ahead of myself. Let's get it on here. Yeah, right here. You have the character Wa. Now they have well, why? Well, why? All right, and um, let's see. And you have Vav. Vav, which really is Wawa. Wawa, this is actually uh, closer. This is closer than what they have on here. Like I said, Esau goes off, you know? He goes off, but it, it means a hook. Okay? It'll say tent pig, a hook to secure something. And showing you the Hebrew language, the characters of the Hebrew language, they all have uh, significance. They have meanings to them. Okay? They're basically pictographs. You see? Our language is beautiful. But you see, this is Hebrew. You see that? I mean, come on, man. You know? Well, why? And they have Vav. But see, there are no Vs in Hebrew. You know? Even the character uh, Wa, well, they call it a W. A W, which is like uh, two Vs put together. Like a double V. Because there were no V's in ancient Hebrew, you know. So, once again, instead of Wawai, it will be Wawa, which means a hook. All right. And let's see. I mean, it's so many other uh, words to pick out. Let's see, man. Let's see here. All right. Now, we have this character here. It's well. It's it's for uh, F. You know, but see, there are no Fs in Hebrew. All right, but you have the character Pa. All right, you have Pa. Let's see if I can find it on here. Here we go, Pa. All right. Now they have Fayai, Fayai. You know, but really, it will be Pa. 
And it is, you see that? I mean, come on. Now they have F A Y I, and on here it says P E Y, but it's the uh, the word pa, which means mouth. All right, your mouth. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some more. Okay. Right now you have you have this uh, character here. Uh, L. So uh, La, but they have La Y, La Y, and you go over here. Let's see for the L character. All right. Let's see. Make sure I'm not looking over it. Make sure I didn't pass it. Here we are at the top. Now they have Lamed. Really, it's Lamad. Lamad, which means to uh, to teach. You see, it's like a cane, but it's a staff, which means to uh, to uh, teach. To teach, like you have a uh, shepherd staff, which is used to uh, guide the sheep. You know, to teach. So instead of the Y, it would be Lamad. Lamad, which means teach. Okay. Like I said, I'm picking out as many as I can. All right. Now, um, now you have this character. The Ka. They have Kafai. Kafai. Which you have the word cop, cop, which is a uh, a palm, the palm of your hand. Okay, it says open palm, and and it's spiritual. Even Jake, they say when they're gonna grab something, you know, if they're gonna get something, they, they say I'm gonna cop that, like you're grabbing it, you know, the, the palm of your hand. You know, you you attaining something, you getting something. I'm a cop that. You know, well, it, it's uh, the palm of your hand. All right, cop. You know, kafai, but really, it's cop. You know, there's, there's no f's in uh, Hebrew. Okay, now you have the ma character, the ma. Now they have Miyai. Miyai. But see, really, it's Mayum, which means water. Water. Look at that, man. And even, hey, that's spiritual. Check this out. All right? Even when you look at it, because this is in a cursive Yoruba. This looks a little similar to this and that. I mean, even though this is the Assyrian, it's still pretty close. It's the same language, man. You know, this reminds you of water. Just like this, okay? And you have the Na character. The Na. And this is the actual Na in Paleo. See, man, give me a second here. There you have it. Check that out. Check this out, man. Check this out right here. The nah, the nah. Woo, man. Hey, that's perfect, man. All praise to you, how about you, I was shot. And even going back to the La character, this is, you know, similar to that. It's not exact, but it's close. It's pretty close. But dealing with the Na, that's the Na. Don't they look the same? Okay, and dealing with the Na character, now they say 
Niyai. Niyai. But you look at it on here, they have none. Which really, it's not one. Not one, which means sprout or to continue. Like your seed. Your seed, you know. And now they have air. Okay? But that's the point, man. But you see the resemblance. Look at this. And look at that. Come on now. All right, now let's get some more words. You know, hey, and going back to the pa, this is similar to where's the pa? Here, here we go, right here. That's the pa. This is the paleo. This the Assyrian, you know, but this is similar to that. Okay? Now, we have the character Shah. They have Shah. They have Sa. But this is Shah. And they have Shinny. Shinny. But this is, come on, man. Look at that. Shin. Which really is shun, which means tooth. Tooth. Okay? Shinny. Let me see. show that again. They have shinny. All right, and um, you see shin here, which really is shun, which means your tooth, your teeth. Okay? And look at this, because the uh, the shot character, it looks like a W. Look at that. Look at that. That's plain shun. All right, now we're going to get ready to close this out. Because we've been showing enough through the spirit, man. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about faith. If you don't believe, then this this uh, information, it doesn't profit you. All right. So we're going to end off with this one. This is the last character. This is the last character. OK. And it's spiritual because this is the last character and the actual Hebrew alphabet. Okay. Now you have the ta, the ta, and they have to why, to why. So this is for uh, for ta, you know, which is where you get t. But to why was really in the Hebrew. It's now they have tav. Really, it's tawa, tawa, which means sign. It means sign. And look at that. Look at this. And look at that. It's like a cross. Okay? It basically is a cross. And they have cross sticks. So mark or sign. That's what Tawa means. To why? To why? Tawa? Come on, man. So that's the point. You know, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I'm going to close out with a scripture because with this information, man, like I said, if you don't have faith, it doesn't profit you. Okay. The book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So we don't need actual evidence. First and foremost, we believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh but then the Lord, He gives us proof. He gives us proof of what we believe in to further confirm our faith. Okay? Now let me jump to verse 6. But without faith, without you believing in this truth, it is impossible to please Him. 
You can't please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh without faith. For he that cometh to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh must believe that he is. And that's the meaning of Yahweh. He is. So you must believe that he is. You must believe that he is Yahweh. And that everything is true. All this is true, man. Okay? Everything in the scriptures, but this information that lines up with the scriptures, man, it's all true. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He's going to give us the kingdom if we endure until the end. I hope you were edified. Amen. The Lashawan Kodash, which means holy tongue. Lashawan means tongue. Kodash means holy. And we had it, man. In Africa, a lot of our people over there still speak it. They still speak Yoruba. Okay, and the point is, we all spoke Hebrew. Even the northern tribes. Okay, which Lord will. I'm going to do more videos on that. Which, the main thing is us getting into prophecy. But it's still good to bring this information out. But the main thing is prophecy. I just like to go into this history, man. And this information. So, I hope you were edified. This spoke for itself. Yoruba is ancient Hebrew, okay? Call Halayim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Peace and bless to the elect. Shalom.